Well, March has been the best month of the year uh, for, uh, for me as a, uh, a player uh, and, and as a coach, uh, but mostly as a coach. One, it's the culmination of, uh, of an entire season and preseason of commitment to becoming a unit, uh, becoming as good as you can be, and then seeing what that means on a, a one and done basis. In other words, you have to win or else you don't get a chance uh, to play again. When I got to the ACC over four decades ago, I found that there were two chances to do that. One in the ACC tournament, and then if you were good enough to do it in the NCAA tournament. And uh, it's really the best. It, you know, uh, In the NBA, you have a seven game series or five or whatever it is in, in working your way for a championship. In the NCAA or an ACC tournament, you got to win. And uh, that produces some incredible moments and you look forward to being in those moments. I think the biggest thing that we have to do is play defense. And uh, when we didn't play defense in our last game, it showed we gave up over 90 points. But when we play defense, uh, we're, we, we can compete with anybody. Uh, but defense re, you know, really relies on five guys playing as one and following a game plan. And pretty much our guys have done that. And, uh, and now they, they should be more, they should be veterans about following a game plan. And uh, yeah, we gotta, we gotta build on that. On the offensive end, uh, we really have you know, more than one guy that we can go to. But in a game, we have to go to all the guys and not, you know, not forget about, uh, about guys. And, and uh, in the games that we've played really well, we have shared the ball extremely well. And when we haven't played well, we have not done, done that. You know, the two common threads in uh, the few losses that we've had were not playing as good on the defensive end and really not taking care of the ball uh, on the offensive end. But uh, those are things that happen a few times. The things that have happened most of the time is, is good basketball. It, and then being in all these games, the you know, end of game situations, the, the different defenses that you face, uh, um, you know, we're, we're just a lot better than we were a month ago. We're definitely better uh, uh, than we were two months ago. We weren't even playing two months ago. Uh, so we, we've progressed well, and hopefully that puts us in a good spot. Our, our guys have really done a good job on the road. and. Uh, I think when you're on the road, you have more control over them. Not that they're doing bad things, but uh, it, it's more structured. And uh, you know, the day, every every hour, you you know exactly what you should be doing, and you're doing it together. And so, it's it's easier to be together on the road than at home. And uh, also, there there's a crowd that's cheering. Now it'll be cheering for both both teams, but uh, usually on the road that crowd is cheering against you. Although we've had a lot of Duke fans <laughs> in those arenas that that we've played in, and uh, so uh, our guys have enjoyed being on the road. Hopefully, we'll be on the road a lot uh, during the during the month of March. Duke All Access is brought to you by Gatorade. Greatness starts with G. By Continental Tire, proud supporter of Duke Blue Devils basketball. And by Coke Zero Sugar, best Coke ever. I need to try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're made to move. 
And now it's time to get things done. You're in the driver's seat, chasing green lights and open roads. And you know those roads like the back of your hand. You're shaped by where you've been, but you're always looking forward with confidence. Continental Tire, for what you do. Heart-stopping moments deserve heartfelt jewelry from Reeves. Our exclusive Love's Path collection features paths of gold merging around a center diamond, symbolic of how two lives join together to find adventure, understanding, and love. Our exclusive Roberta Z collection is a reflection of our founder, Roberta Zimmer, and mirrors the qualities we admire in the women around us. With Reed's exclusive jewelry collections, we have the perfect gift for each moment and milestone. So what if Jenny has a new car that plugs in like a vacuum? You have you. Yeah, you. You create your own karma. You, who endured this to save on rent. You, who upcycled your prom suit for your first job interview and still nailed it. You, who went the extra mile to earn extra cash. Now you have Credit Karma, the money app where your hard work can pay off with a new credit card, a new home, or even a new car. And wait till Jenny sees this. Whoa there. Create your own karma with Credit Karma. to try it first. Yeah. Jason Tatum in the house watching his Duke Blue Devils and enjoying some popcorn. And yep, you know what? Deuce Tatum, he's four years old. Frequent <laughs> visitor to TD Garden watching his dad play. And I, I think that's pretty appropriate for him. Hey, it's never too early to start recruiting, I guess. To have Jason here is, is, a, is a, a Deuce isn't here. Is it? Okay. It's, uh, the, uh, uh, and for you guys who haven't met him, you know, I remember and I love coaching him. And when the draft was going on and Philly and Boston were going back and forth and trying to maneuver, I remember having talks with Danny Ainge and Brad Stevens. And they said, what about Jason? I said, well, he's the best player. He's the best player. What do you, what's the, and I said, I'll tell you one thing. If your best player can be coached hard, it's going to be good for your franchise. And I'll tell you this, he was coached hard, right? He wants to be coached hard, still wants to be coached hard. And that's what, why he's one of the top top players in the league and a starting a starter in the All-Star all game. You know, because the great ones, the really good ones, and you don't have to be great like an All-Star, but you as much as you can do, you want to be coached hard. You, you want to be coached hard. You want, you want to become better. When we've recruited some of the outstanding talent that has uh, come here to Duke, uh, a common thread for all these young men is that they want to, they want to get better, and they, they know that part of, a big part of becoming better is being coached hard. Coached hard doesn't mean that you're yelling at them all the time. Coach hard doesn't mean that you demand their best every day and they are willing to, to give it. They're willing to change their limits. They're, they're willing to do something new, even though learning that new thing uh, sometimes makes them look bad because they're, they're learning a new skill. And, uh, but wanting to be coached hard on a daily basis is uh, really one of the, maybe, maybe the best ingredient to become uh, an outstanding player. Back for Bankero, Ashton Langford behind nearly got it, but Bankero collects, drives inside, and hangs from the rim. Bankero, baseline drive, spun to the middle, and hammered it down. When I first committed here um, a year and a half ago, I knew what I was signing up for. You know, I wanted to be coached hard, be coached by the best, um, and, you know, have the best brought out of me. So uh, just over the year, I mean, that's, that's definitely lived up to the truth, and, you know, I've, I've enjoyed it, though. You know, it's been a great year so far, um, and I'm looking forward to the rest of it. Ben Carroll on the drive. Got inside. Oh! On a right-handed racket attack! I think I've definitely um, matured 
just overall um, on and off the court. Um, just some of the ways I've seen is just not pressing as much, especially as recently. Like I've really just been having fun, you know, smiling every game um, and letting that, letting my joy for the game, you know, take over. Um, and when I do that, you know, I, I usually always, you know, play well or, or I'm satisfied. So just always remembering to do that, you know, not to overthink anything um, and always, you know, have joy when I'm playing the game. Haller has it, faces up on Hall, spun to the baseline, put it, whip it in! Big time move, and the lead is four. Well, Paulus had a terrific year. You know, being freshman of the year in this conference is no small accomplishment. And uh, basically, he, you know, he came in ready to play. But sometimes when a, a youngster is ready to play, they stay at the level of being ready to play. What he's done is he's improved in all aspects of his, of his game, and uh, really an easy guy to play with. You know, I still think he has a lot of improvement that can take place before the end of the season. But uh, for his future, you know, he's going to be he's going to be an, an incredible player because he uh, he's so skilled and uh, and he's a great great teammate. Got it on Aluma, found a cutter and Keels off the window, and the Blue Devils have the lead. What a pass that time by Paulo Bancaro. He rifled it in there. Paulo's great. You know, obviously he does a lot of things on the floor on both ends. Um, you know, he can do a little bit of everything, dribble, shoot, pass. Um, you know, playing with a guy like him makes uh, life for me a little bit easier on offense. So, um, obviously it's been great playing with him. And, you know, I can't, can't wait for the rest of the season. Four back for Roche. Inside it goes for Bancaro. A nice catch in traffic. Another find to Williams. And another flush. Blue Devils headed the way. Four on two and on to Williams to throw it down. I think just our togetherness, unselfishness, and uh, just the overall, you know, expectation that we have for each other to, to play and show up um, day in, day out. Uh, you know, we, we expect the, the most out of each other. Um, you know, we want to win every game. So I think, you know, that carried us through the season. And uh, when you mix that with the talent we have already, um, you get ACC champion. Another three is up. This one rattled out. The rebound tap controlled by Williams. Now Van Caro at the other end. Going in on Smith. The hot step put it off the window. Yes. What a spectacular finish inside. I know the car accident wasn't technically your fault. But we, as the insurance company, deny this claim. We might fix your car. But medical bills? Pain and suffering? Lost wages? You're asking for a lot. Oh. You've got a lawyer. This conversation is over. Tell the insurance company you mean business. Call on the Hurt Line, the law offices of James Scott Farron, right now. It's bow time. <coughs> if the workday's over, but your family's hunger is gearing up for the night shift, drop a big bow box on it. Because with 12 Supremes, biscuits, fixings, and tea, you can clock out and still enjoy a delicious dinner. It's bow time. <coughs> Heart-stopping moments deserve heartfelt jewelry from Reeds. Our exclusive Love's Path collection features paths of gold merging around a center diamond, symbolic of how two lives join together to find adventure, understanding, and love. Our exclusive Roberta Z collection is a reflection of our founder, Roberta Zimmer, and mirrors the qualities we admire in the women around us. With Reeds' exclusive jewelry collections, we have the perfect gift for each moment and milestone. If the workday's over, but your family's hunger is gearing up for the night shift, drop a big bow box on it. Because with 12 Supremes, biscuits, fixings, and tea, you can clock out and still enjoy a delicious dinner. It's bow time. Duke Basketball 360 with Chris Spatola. Presented by Continental Tire. Proud supporter of Duke Blue Devils basketball. 
One of the things I think we've we've begun to figure out with this Duke team is this is an all hands on deck type of a team. I mean, they need everybody playing and contributing at their highest level. Uh, what that means is you you need everybody healthy. And, and one of the guys that Duke has gotten back healthy is Trevor Keels. Of course, went down in the Florida State game with a leg injury. Duke ended up losing that game in overtime, and Keels missed the next three games. And they really missed him. You know, they need him in that lineup. He's, he's a guy who gives them a tre tremendous amount of, of versatility and ability on the offensive end, a guy who can knock down a perimeter shot, so he gives you another shooter out there that can stretch the floor. He's got very good size. He's a physical player. I think he brings a level of physicality to Duke, especially defensively, that they missed. While he was out, he can pressure the ball. Um, but not only can he knock down a perimeter shot, he's a guy who can drive it off of the dribble. And that's, again, an element to Duke's offense that they really need. A guy who can really score at the basket. He's a good passer once he gets in there, you know, looking for Mark Williams, for example, for lobs. He was huge in Duke's game on the road at Clemson. This was a, a perfect game to illustrate why Duke needs everybody to be playing at that high level. 25 points, eight of nine in the second half for Trevor Keels. It was reminiscent and really one of his best games since that opener in the Champions Classic against Kentucky, a game where he also had 25 points and really put Duke on his back in the second half of that game. Duke needs Trevor Keels in order for Duke to get to the level that they hope to get to, to play into that third weekend of the NCAA tournament. Duke needs the freshman to play at a high level each game. So getting him back in the lineup has been massive for the Blue Devils. Keels, Ben Carroll over to the right. There's Joey Baker off of the screen. Beats Moore to the top of the key. 12 to shoot. Moore handoff for Keels. Jumps up from three and rains it down. Keels a career high now, 27. And the Blue Devils have opened it up big time, 71 to 45. 27, and that includes five three-pointers. Coach K's Legacy Moments. Mike Krzyzewski falls out of play, and here they go. Shire off the screen from Zuba. After defeating Georgia Tech in a thrilling ACC championship game, Coach K's 2010 squad received a number one seed in the NCAA tournament. Their run through March Madness culminated in Indianapolis, the site of the program's first national championship, where the Blue Devils faced hometown Butler in one of the most dramatic NCAA finals in history. Off the back of the rim and the rebound down to Hayward. Tries to hook his way around. The shot is up, it is no good. The Blue Devils have won the national championship. Mission accomplished. The two Blue Devils have won the 2010 NCAA National Basketball Championship. The trophy now resides in Durham. How sweet it is. Well, winning the title in 2010 really occurred in mid-February uh, when Brian Zubek had an incredible game against Maryland. And for the rest of that season, Brian Zubek was a top 10 player in the country. And he had no injuries. He was plagued with injuries his whole career. And finally, he had continuity. And all of a sudden, it hit. And that team was really big. When you think of a backcourt with uh, uh, John Shire and Nolan Smith, and the other person on the perimeter is Kyle Singler and you have Lance and Brian, it's a big team. It wasn't a team. I kid uh, Nolan and John about it all the time. I didn't ask you guys to pick up full court, uh, but uh, at the top of the key and into the basket, they were very difficult to score against. Try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're made to move. And now it's time to get things done. You're in the driver's seat, chasing green lights and open roads. And you know those roads like the back of your hand. 
You're shaped by where you've been, but you're always looking forward with confidence. Continental Tire, for what you do. In the Carolinas, true blue means unwavering loyalty and commitment. To earn this level of trust, Ford builds the trucks and SUVs that help keep you in command when you're on the road. And in return, America has shown its loyalty. See your Carolina Ford dealer today. Discover what true blue means to you. Now get 0 for 60 plus 1,000 bonus cash on select 2021 Ford vehicles. New inventory is arriving daily at your Carolina Ford dealer. It's bow time. If the workday's over, but your family's hunger is gearing up for the night shift, drop a big bow box on it. Because with 12 Supremes, biscuits, fixings, and tea, you can clock out and still enjoy a delicious dinner. It's bow time. Well, the very first ACC tournament that we won was in 1986. We had just won the regular season at home, uh, beating North Carolina. And, uh, and we were playing Georgia Tech. And the Georgia Tech-Duke games from the mid-'80s to the early-'90s were some of the greatest games in the history of our conference. And here we were playing against them. And Bobby Kremens' team with uh, Mark Price especially uh, you know, one of the greatest players uh, in college basketball history. And uh, we had one stop to make. And from a timeout, our guys went out on the court and they slapped the floor. I remember Billy King was the last one to slap the floor. And our goal was to not let Price get the shot. Johnny was on him. Uh, and Tommy was playing one of their perimeter men, Craig Neal, in the corner. Johnny's defense was excellent, but Tommy's help defense was the best because he didn't leave the man in the corner, but he came over and he gave what we call a fake trap or hedge, and it just held up uh, Mark a little bit and where he thought he couldn't make it to the basket and hit Neil, and we were fortunate that he missed the shot. But the, at least the guy who we didn't want to take the shot, we, we made that happen. My junior year, we were in the ACC tournament, and we were playing, of course, you know, North Carolina, where you tend to remember those games because they're such big games. Um, and I had been fouled, and I was going to the free throw line. And you know, you're you're in your head a little bit. You're thinking, um, you know, what if I miss? I want to make um, whatever you know pressure comes with those situations. I was someone that did think about those things, and we came to a timeout, and you're kind of expecting you know, the intensity of the moment and his response to the whole team and specifically to me, he said it to the team, but he was talking to me, was just basically like, isn't this fun? And it took the air out of the balloon, so to speak, for me. And if I remember right, I made the free throws. So that's one I'll always remember. I think the two guys in the ACC if you really look at the history of it, that stand out uh, would be Randolph Childress from Wake Forest and J.J. Redick from Duke. J.J. literally was responsible, singularly, for three of our ACC championships. You know, his game against NC State, where they were ahead by double digits in the second half. The war we had with Boston College uh, and they're a great team, and J.J. was the difference. And then up in Maryland, when uh, our whole backcourt fouled out with about five minutes to go and against Georgia Tech, and 
you know, we had Sheldon Williams and Shavlik Randolph bringing the ball down the court, and, and uh, JJ would not let us lose. It, it's hard to imagine any other player uh, having that significant impact uh, on, on championships in the ACC tournament than, more than JJ. ACC Tournament 2011. We had a rematch in the championship game versus Carolina. We went out there and just took it to them from the jump ball. Uh, we all had one common goal, and that was to be ACC Tournament champions. And at the end of that game, when you know we basically dominated them, and I'm running towards Coach K on the sidelines, and he has this biggest smile on his face, and I basically just ran and jumped in his arms, and he's he jumped up probably higher than I did at the time, which was pretty impressive for for Coach to get up. But for us to, you know, for Kyle and myself, the seniors, that, that was our third ACC tournament championship. And, you know, we were able to get it done. It's a huge accomplishment, you know, to win the ACC. And, you know, when the, cutting down nets, you're up there on that, that podium holding, holding the trophy. And it's, a, it's an amazing feeling. How about this run in Charlotte? All the way to an ACC title for Duke as they knock off Florida State 73 to 63 to claim their 21st in school history. And Zion Williamson is the star in the Queen City. The year with Zion, RJ, and that team, it was one of those times where an injury really knocked us back. Zion was out for a few weeks and all of a sudden was able to make it for the ACC tournament. And it was an outstanding tournament performance, really based on the fact that he had hardly practiced. And uh, the games, especially the Carolina game, was, uh, was inc incredible. And uh, I think a lot of people feel it may have been, you know, Duke fans, it may have been our most exciting tournament to, to go along with the time that we won four straight up in Brooklyn, which was pretty exciting also. You know, there's a bounce in, uh, to your step when you, you know, finish the regular season. The regular season, no matter how it goes, and ours went well. It didn't end well in the last game, but we won the regular season. We won 26 games. Uh, you know, that's good. <laughs> that's, that's really good. And, but now you're zero and zero. And so they say, let's go. There's not just an excitement, but there's an acceleration uh, in what you're doing because let's go. You know, it, 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 it's time. And uh, you hope that uh, as the head coach, you can produce that same feeling with everyone in the program, but especially the players.